Hello, hello, Bream Pilot here with a, back with a review video and just back overall. Now, wow, 50 plus subscribers. Guess I have to deliver on my promise and here it is. I am going to be reviewing the Concorde, as you can see. Now, without further ado, let's get started. So, we have uh, made for collectors like Lictus stuff. We got, con we got the box out of the plane with Concorde written underneath, which is a nice touch. British Airways. On the back, we actually have something different for a change. Then we said, thank you, you purchased today, help to conserve the celebrate Bristol's aviation heritage and inspire next generation of engineers. And look, a nice picture of a Concorde, which is actually very beautiful. And this one was made in 2020, so it's not that old. So, without further ado, let's get into the detail of the integrity of this baby. So, let's get zoom in. We should see. Come on. Okay. Got the British, so we have British Airways, we have a British, it's British AC slash Air Special Concorde. Construction number, the registration is Golf Bravo Oscar Alpha Foxtrot. The engines are full Rolls Royce Olympus 593 Mach 610 engines. First flight of this plane was in, um, in 1979 and it was delivered in 1980. This is all the other stuff. Cruising speed is, is 1340 miles per hour, aka Mach 2, and the range is about 4488 miles. And the seating is 120 passengers. And they've been far further than a 707, but the 707 is actually more efficient than Concorde, interestingly enough. So, so we have the little snoot, droop snoot details. We've got the carpet glazing, carpet windshield, got sensory details beneath, who you can possibly not see at the moment. Got the um, L1 boarding door, and got the windows very tiny british airways livery alongside it as well it's a very small window got the r2 we got the r, uh, r l2 door and got some sort of what's supposed to be a bubble on top but it's not a bubble it's printing then we've got the r3 door then we got the other ends with the olympus engines and we got the british airways tail livery with the little tail gear and the registration so, turn her around and take a look at the other side. So, basically, similar details, except the, uh, the R1 door is smaller. Sorry, I meant L1 earlier, by the way. Um, then we have the British Airways uh, Chatham Dockyard, the Seabed. Um, British Airways, written on. Got the R2 door and the swept wing. R3 door, more swept wing. And then we have the engines, the ailerons, cargo doors here, and then we've got the British Airways logo. Now, if we take a look, good look at the copper blazing, they did an excellent job, really. Okay, maybe it's a bit hard to see with this light. They did an excellent job regarding the detail, the finite details. So, let's take a look underneath. They have details regarding the droop snoot, all sorts of small, small little details like maintenance hatches, sensory details. I've got the forward landing gear, which is very long and very narrow looking by the way. Wheels actually fell off, I had to glue it back on. And we have some light details, we've got the fuselage, Gemini Jets logo, sand hole, landing gear. Then we've got the inlets for the Rolls Royce Olympus engines which are very beautiful and then we got the back of the engine it's right here no cargo door beneath by the way because there's a game that's on the side and then we've got the tail strike gear and tail lights no APU on this plane I'm afraid oh my god guys thank you so much for 56 subscribers I hope you like this review video please like subscribe green pilot out